PECP is a service that was born with an idea and intention, which is to work on preventative care, promotion, and health care, and which, throughout its history, has brought families into this space with the aim of promoting social transformation. In 1955, when the group of physicians and entrepreneurs decided to build the hospital, their wives, alongside their friends, got together to raise funds for its construction. In 1969, these women went to the community of Perazopolis in San Paulo and began to bring their children to be treated at the hospital's outpatient clinic. In 1971, the hospital was opened. From then on, following its opening, we began to install beds for these children. It was truly a beautiful job. Until in 1998, we conducted a study in the pediatric care ward and noticed that many of these children had been readmitted, which led us to the observation that we would have to work with prevention and promotion. Thus, we decided to go to Perazopolis, where the volunteers rolled up their sleeves and began to raise funds again. And today, we have a program within the Perazopolis community covering an area of 5,500 meters. What did the prevention work imply? It represented having to work on all the needs of human beings. That is, it was not enough to provide just medical care. We would have to include all the activities that make human beings feel good. And after all these years, we had more than six million services, and we are sure that we are on the right track. This place has been really good for me. This was a place that I knew after leaving the outside world. Here, I was able to care for my children and actually be a mother because I did not know what it was like to be a mother. This place gives me support. Here I got to learn how to get myself back together. I am very happy to be here telling this story because otherwise, if I were in the outside world, I would already be dead. As I was a first time mother, I was 19 at the time. I did not know anything and the program gave me the support that I needed. Regarding social transformation, our entire proposal involves taking a look at the families assisted by this community through workshops and activities offered and developed free of charge for all this public and this population that makes up Perazopolis today. Why do I need to leave the slum to become someone? That is something you hear from an early age. My mother would always say, son, you have to study, work, go to college to leave the slum to become someone. Well, aren't I someone either way? Why can't I be someone in the slum? Today, in addition to being a photographer and director of photography, I have a project called Projet to Click in a Favela, which consists of giving photography classes to the children in the community. I raised my four children with God's help alone and had to do it while being a house worker. For 24 years, I worked at other families' homes, but I always had a dream of changing careers. My children then grew up and I began to attend the beauty and hairdresser workshops. I took a course in eyebrow design, manicure, and even a barber course. I took a course and slowly developed my skills. And finally, eight years ago, I stopped being a house worker. The program is currently divided into six sections. The first section covers art and communication. It is following by education, sports, professional training, health and social work. I have been in the Einstein program since 2014 when I took my first tailoring and sewing course. The course lasted six months, and since then, I never stopped. I developed my skills and set up my workshop, J2M Confession. I never imagined getting to the level that I am today. During the pandemic, which was a more recent moment, all the support from the hospital for the people in our neighborhood became even more evident. It happened in the form of donations of food baskets, structure, and health care. It was our daily bread. My father was unemployed. My mother was unemployed. We were in a very complicated situation. That was when this company came along, which did not owe us anything, but helped us anyway. We never had to pay anything to Einstein, nor did we have a contract with them. What you guys are doing is much more than providing something for us. You reinsert those who are marginalized into society. I have a health condition, so I have to keep doing sports. Things were very difficult at first, 
But after I managed to be admitted into Einstein, things got much better for my children and I. Our health improved and there is balance now. Everything changed completely. My children have a chronic neurological pathology and music is crucial for the development of the brain. Music education has enabled them to grow into completely different children. Who have been able to achieve a level of development that exceeded expectations. The teachers are excellent. They are trained and are committed to what they do. This contact with art was truly a privilege for me. I study at college with wealthier people. And I keep thinking, if I did not have this base that the teachers here provided me with, I would be lagging way behind compared to the others in college. Today, we have several boys doing workshops here with us. They had been here when they were little, but are now returning. What they took from here, they're bringing to pass on to other boys. It is about learning and then giving back. There is a song that goes like, to live is to leave, come back and share. I was very young when I came to take a course here. I was 12 when I started. Even at the time though, I could already feel the human kindness here. Since it is not only about coming here, starting a project and being told you're doing well, there's the issue of personal involvement. I had teachers who came to my house on the day of the presentation when I was not feeling well. They asked me why I was not feeling well and why I was not going. It made a major difference. To this day, I keep in touch with those people and they motivate us to do the same thing, passing on what we have received to others. We can say that since its implementation, PECP has in fact brought about social transformation, allowing them to become entrepreneurs, continue their studies, and in a way, promote local mobilization for real transformation in the space where they live and in the reality that they are helping to shape every day. In my family, I am part of the first generation that managed to go to college. And I'm so proud to say that I did because thanks to this place, Einstein inspired me. Einstein has truly helped me a lot. It is not that I was once a part of Einstein, I still am today and it's a part of me. The Einstein program in the community of Peta Isopolis has transformed lives and families. It came here to change our situation from what was once merely a slum into a real community.